Well, an international trade agreement brewing between nine countries is now stirring controversy on Capitol Hill. That's because some lawmakers are wondering why it's all a big secret. It's called the Trans-Pacific Partnership, and it's a trade agreement between Chile, Australia, New Zealand, and the United States, among other countries. There's even a song out now to explain what's going on. Take a listen. <laughs> Now, one senator is taking the lead in speaking out against this. Senator Ron Wyden says he plans to introduce legislation that would require the U.S. Trade Representative to consult with lawmakers. He says the Obama administration is refusing to give any details on the treaty talks, leaving the American people in the dark as to what exactly is going on. For more on this, I'm joined now by Melinda St. Louis, International Campaigns Director for Public Citizen. Welcome to the show, Melinda. Uh, so what is the big secret? Well, the Trans-Pacific Partnership, as you mentioned, is a, is a deal between the U.S. and, and eight other uh, Pacific Rim countries. And the secret is that there are negotiations happening behind closed doors between our, our trade representatives and their 600 corporate advisors that are writing the text, reading the text, have access to it, and the U.S. public and the Congress and the press have absolutely no, uh, no voice at all in the process. And what do you think is going on behind closed doors and what would motivate the Obama administration to keep it a secret? Well, we, we know why they want to keep it a secret, because it's not an agreement that would stand up to public scrutiny. The, the U.S. public is, is actually very concerned about these types of so-called free trade agreements. Uh, by, in a bipartisan fashion, people in the U.S. oppose a, the NAFTA style of trade agreement that has offshored millions of U.S. jobs and that has banned by America procurement, meaning that our tax dollars can't be used for local procurement in our, in our schools and so forth. There are concerns about the fact that it could limit internet freedom, like the SOPA uh, legislation that was defeated in Congress. It's actually a backdoor way to get that. There are other, uh, there's concerns about food safety, um, are the ways that we can label our food. Are we able to do that? Financial stability, they actually are trying to limit the, the ways that we can regulate Wall Street. So there are all kinds of uh, pieces in this agreement where corporations are trying to go behind our democratic process and get what they want through this so-called free trade agreement. And now Senator Wyden is, is one of the senators that is speaking out against this, among other people. Um, and, and he is concerned that this legislation gives corporations more influence than the elected leaders. Is that essentially what it does? Well, we certainly believe so. If the Sen Senator Wyden, who is the chair of the subcommittee in the Senate that oversees our international trade, does not have access to the text, nor does his staff, even though they have security clearance to do so, and yet there are 600 cleared corporate advisors who we know have access to that text, I, that is exactly what we're seeing. And, and, and so Senator Wyden's a bold move right now is saying, I, I don't understand why this could possibly be the case, that include, even a senator with his jurisdiction in our, uh, in our Congress is, does not have access to the text. Now, does the uh, Obama administration, do they not have the obligation to, to, to give these details? Well, so, Senator Wyden certainly thinks so, and, and we do as well as, um, as the public. He, his bill basically will reinterpret a 2002 law that, over, that created a congressional oversight group. And what he's saying is that the it, Obama administration is saying only members of the congressional oversight group should be able to, to have access to the text. When he said, no, this was supposed to actually increase engagement of Congress, not decrease engagement of Congress. And so all members of Congress should have access to this text. Now, uh, what does this mean for, for the American people? Uh, and why should they be concerned about this? 
Well, we're very concerned as a consumer advocacy group because we want to make sure that our democratic process, when we fight hard to get the types of um, legislation to, li to regulate Wall Street, to make sure that we have a free internet, to make sure that our food is safe, that our water is safe, we don't want a so-called trade deal to come through the back door and actually undermine that type of, of democratic policy making that we've made in our country. And we certainly don't want to be offshoring more millions of U.S. jobs in a time when there is record unemployment. We, this, is, this is the type of agreement that we're opening up um, a trade with, with countries in Asia that, and, and reducing uh, tariffs and, and so forth to make it possible for countries that have much lower wages and working conditions and environmental standards to be able to, um, to trade. And we want to, we want to increase trade, but we want to do it in a fair way that actually benefits the populations of both of our countries and it doesn't force a, a global race to the bottom as we've seen in these other trade agreements in so, the past. So it sounds like this is a very important treaty that can, you know, affect everybody, everyday average citizens. But um, what do you think this has to say, the fact that it is being done behind closed doors um, about transparency in the Obama administration? Well, it's, it's, it's a very important question because President Obama is, you know, is pushing a more transparency. The U.S. Trade Representative's Office claims that they want to be engaged in a transparent process. But in the past, we've seen trade deals where at this stage in the process, they have released the text to the public. And they are not doing that. And so, so we're you know, calling on the trade officials and the corporate advisors that are, are, are leading them to, to open this up and to if, if this is really going to be good for our country, we all should be able to see what's in it. And if, there, and if we can't see what's in it, we want to know why. Now, um, as Senator Wyden, what, one of the lawmakers that's kind of taking the lead um, and trying to get the details out there, um, now has this, con this piece of legislation in the works. How confident are you that um, this will pass and um, he'll... You know, so it, you know, American people can find out what exactly is going on with this treaty. Well, we certainly think that what he's doing is an important first step, and we certainly hope that that it is a wake-up call to the administration, to other members of Congress. I think part of the reason that they've been able to get away with this for so long is that people haven't been paying attention, and that no one's even heard of this treaty. Uh, but as it as um, grassroots people from around the country uh, there send petitions and so forth, we think that it's it's a first step. We think members of Congress should have access, but we also think the press and the public should have access too. And that wouldn't be uh, Senator Wyden's bill is a, is a first step, but we've seen other members of Congress also taking steps. There were 69 members of Congress that signed a letter about the, buy, the ban on Buy American preferences in the tr in the treaty that they're concerned about. That um, Representative Frank and Representative Levin, who are some of the uh, most the top Democrats in finance and trade in the House, sent a letter saying we're concerned about provisions that. that uh, have to do with key, nine, key finance provisions. So I think that it's that it's starting to you know get get attention, and, and we're really glad that that's the case uh, because we think that the American people need to know what's being negotiated in their name. All right, Melinda, thank you very much. That was Melinda St. Louis, International Campaigns Director for Public Citizen.